Hello technical people, can you train CNN in 5 minutes? The answer to your question is yes. You will need a dataset, a code to load that dataset into your workspace of MATLAB. The dataset should have one main folder consisting of three subfolders for testing, training and validation. Each one will have uh, folders depending on number of classes of your classifications. In this case I am classifying into four classes. Your image size must be consistent. In this case, I'm using MobileNet that requires square images. Let's check out the code to load your images into the MATLAB workspace. It is very basic code. The first section defines the location or directories of the images. While the second section imports your images into your MATLAB workspace. So all you need to do is run this code until your data is imported. So you have test data, train data and validation data in your workspace now. After importing my data, I need to open the Deep Network Designer app of the MATLAB. Here you, are, you can start with the blank network which we are not going to do. So we will use the pre-trained network uh, called the MobileNet V2 which you need to install if you are using it for the first time. Once opened, in the designer tab, you can zoom in on the last three layers of the network. You can zoom in by pressing Ctrl and using your mouse roller. The fully connected layer and the classification layers, this network is trained for 1000 of the classes. So we need to change that depending on the number of classes we are using. So I will remove the fully connected layer and the, the classification layer. You can just click and press delete to remove them. Now we need to add a new fully connected layer. And change the output size to your own number of classes. In this case I have 4 class output. Similarly add the last classification layer. You do not need to change anything in its settings. Simply connect them as they were before. Once connected, you can analyze your network to see if there are any errors in this case. Now we, we see there is uh, zero warnings and zero errors. It also gives you a lot of details for each layer which we are not interested in. So we can just leave it there. Next, we move on to the data tab. Here, we import the data from our workspace. Similarly, you can use the data commentation to increase your data size, as in this case, I am having quite low data set. Then we need to import the validation data and click on import. You will see the number of classes you have. I have four classes and accordingly the number of uh, images that each class has, both for training and for validation. Next, move on to the training tab. You can check out the training options. You can play with training options uh, to enhance the accuracy and performance of your model. Once this is done, just click OK and you are set to train your model. All you need to do is click on train and it will start training your model based on your images. It will show you the accuracy graph as well as the loss graph. While this is training, please make sure to click on the subscribe button. Alright, once done, you can export your trained model to your MATLAB workspace for further processing. You can see your trained model in your workspace and it can be saved to your folder for further testing your data. Thank you. That's uh, my 5 minutes. Uh, goodbye. See you next time. Take care.